felt like to give Frederick a place where there was a skate shop and it was nothing but skateboarding. There was always been really good skaters around here and didn't feel like anyone was supporting him. Uh, I grew up here skateboarding, still lived in Frederick at the time. Tim was from, from Frederick, so we wanted to support our own local scene, so that's what, kind of what we did. There's always an, some negative connotation to skateboarding. But the skateboarders were definitely targeted. Uh, Picker to me is is all about family, you know, it always has been, it always will be. Uh, our first location was 121A North Market Street in Frederick. It was a tiny little shop. It was like 400 square feet. You can touch the walls if you put your hands and your feet out at the same time. We went on a summer road trip and we had a like a spiral notebook. For probably six months while we were on the road selling to people. Repping, going to shops, and at the same time we were just thinking the names of the store. We would literally, anything that came to mind when we were riding around, we would write down. Tim always says we have it somewhere, or I don't know where it is, but we had this whole notebook with all these ideas pre-opening the shop, and to this day we still can't find it. Uh, some funny ones, I think Anagav was one of the ones that we were going to call a shop. Uh, I think one was Anagav, but we realized we couldn't do that, and then um, we just settled in on pit crew. The name came from where I guess we were both like in the cars at the same time. And cars have always been special to Mal and I, and we were just trying to think of something that was just not something you would think of as a skate shop name. We officially opened October 1st of 1994. We're in our 20th year, but you know, uh, October 1st would be the 20th anniversary of the show. I don't, I don't know if we had really any goals except that we really wanted to make. I, at least I think I was. I wanted to create pictures being like a well-known proceed skateboard shop. If we would have set these goals, I think we would maybe not follow the, or let it just be natural. We would have like forced things and we never wanted it to be that way. We opened when the industry was probably one of its lowest. It was very slow and, you know, small. We just wanted it to pay for itself so there could be skateboarding, you know, and there would be a skateboard shop. And we never really set huge goals past that because we never knew where it was going to go. Business was good right off the bat. It was just nothing but kind of upward growth. Business was actually really good um, because there was a strong skate community when we first opened already in Frederick. We had enough skateboards in that was uh, more than most people carried in the local area. It offers a lot of things. It offers, um, you know, plenty of whatever you need for skateboarding as well as you get you get a history lesson when you come here. You get taught. You know, skateboarding just didn't happen five years ago. It's been around since the 60s, and, or even maybe longer than that. Kind of like a starting point to learning everything about skateboarding. Every person that comes in here, we get to know them, you know, and we want them to come back. And so that's, uh, you know, that's what we try to do is just take care of people the best we know how. We care about our customers a whole lot. We try to, the ones that, that want to be open, it's you come in here it's like almost like cheers we try to take care of tons of kids that that maybe maybe don't have enough guidance from home or maybe maybe their parents work too much or you know um, and I think that's just societal but, but we tried to always be a big positive influence in those kids lives um, and I don't we never set out to do that but somewhere along the line we realized that that was occurring and it was up to us whether we were responsible with that or irresponsible with it and we try to be responsible. There's still a few people that look at skateboarding as, you know, a bunch of bad kids or something like that, but there's a, there's definitely a lot of support and I think we've changed um, a lot of people's opinions on what skateboarders are like. There's always an, some negative connotation to skateboarding. Sometimes the, the cops can be really strict enforcing the skate laws in town. We'd have kids come in and in one day, there'd be like four kids that came in and said, I got $100 tickets. And within a week, it's like, hey, we've had 20 kids get $100 tickets. For kids being younger, I think they're easily targeted. We lost a huge group of downtown kids to that. I'd say it might even be a little better. We've worked with 
um, the Frederick City Police and the PAL, the Police Activity League, and got a new skate park open last summer in the city of Frederick. Um, and that that was good in a lot of ways because it it bridged a lot of gaps and it, and it, it got skaters to maybe get that the cops are doing their job sometimes and not always being you know the enforcer guy and it got cops to understand that skateboarders were just trying to skateboard and try to work towards a common goal where it worked for everybody versus ticketing and fining and taking boards and it and overall it's worked out a lot better that way. Oh, I've definitely been hassled by police before. I mean, police brutality is going to be out there no matter where you're at. I've had a few uh, incidences with the police. Um, nothing too crazy, just kind of kick out here, there, a fine here and there. Nothing like uh, getting locked up or handcuffs, anything like that. Yeah, I heard that uh, the Frederick City Police actually provided a uh, majority of the funding for this place. It just shows that they were uh, interested in us and wanting to find a place for us to skate rather than writing us up tickets and always uh, hassling us and maybe we, uh, maybe them building this park took away um, a little bit of their time from hassling us. So helps them out, helps us out. You know, this is what they gave us, so this is what we come out here and skate. My opinion, yeah, they could have done a whole lot better. Uh, Picker's awesome. I mean, uh, they've been a big part of my life. Super supportive about skateboarding everywhere. Definitely family and uh, just great guys to be around. Tim and Mal, big shout out, nicest guys in the world, and they will always be there to help everybody out. Picker is one of the biggest families I have, and I feel so privileged to be a part of it. It's always been a big family, and that's always been way more important to us than anything um, because. That's what skateboarding is. That's why all of us did this and do this, you know, because it's, it's, you find all your friendships. Are, I, I don't know how to describe this shop because um, it means so much to so many different people and, and so many different things. I don't want to add anything more about the shop. I'd just say if, if you really believe in something that you honestly, if it's skateboarding or anything you want to do, if you really believe in it and love it, you can make, you can make something happen for yourself.